Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another unboxing video. And today I'm really excited because my commander Cody came in. So let's open it up and check it out. Commander Cody, MMS 524 is in the house. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, this box is awesome looking. The colors and everything on the box, they look absolutely just phenomenally good. I definitely dig this little art on the side of the box. Um, back of the box is credits. Nothing much going on, on this side, but... Yeah, this is this is cool. Uh, I'm actually I'm really stoked for this one. Uh, this is uh, just a I think it's a cool figure. I think it's gonna be even cooler once we get it out of the box. So uh, let's get the party started and start getting this thing unboxed. All right, first and foremost, the cover art. Check that out. You guys have heard me say this before. I mean, this is this is legitimate frameable art. I mean, the the graphics team, um, kudos to you guys for just producing some phenomenal artwork with these uh, with these figures. But enough of that. Let's get this sleeve off. Oh, wow. Um, there's, there's a lot. <laughs> there is definitely a lot. Um, and that's just normal with hot toys. Uh, you just, you get a lot of stuff and that's the thing that makes them, in my opinion, uh, really cool. Uh, all right. I'm going to pull these little pieces of side tape off. All right, first and foremost, right there's the accessory tray with all the hands, and we got the holograms. And I did not know this, or I had forgotten, but it looks like we got an actual uh, arm that lights up the hologram. So that's really cool. I'm, I'm digging that. Yeah, Yoda, another clone trooper, Obi-Wan. Yeah, this is cool. So... Basically, we've got that arm and that forearm and hand right there, and what looks like we got five other five other hands. Which I'm actually I'm digging it. That fact we got the thumbs up. The thumbs up is legitimately one of my favorite uh, hands, and I don't know why it just is. I I just I just dig the thumbs up. Uh, we may take a closer look at these, but for now. I want to leave all of these in the actual accessory tray because honestly, I don't see no need in pulling them all out because we'll be seeing them uh, more up close with the figure. But right there, you can see the hands. Um, but for now, I just want to leave this in the accessory pack. All right, let's get this party started. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Get the clamshell cover off. All right. So that. You guys know my system. Upside down in the box. The way it came out. That's the way we roll. All right. First and foremost. Um, the instructions that come with these. I am a. I'm a big fan of the instructions. Um. I highly recommend that anytime you get a hot toy that you take a look at the instructions. This one having that extra forearm with the, uh, the light up feature, I definitely uh, would suggest taking a look at those. So just quick little glance. I just want to take a look real quick, show you guys what you get. There's the instructions right there on the back. I mean, they're literally very simplistic but easy uh, instructions. But it's important that you actually pay attention and actually 
actually pay attention to the instructions. Uh, the next item we have, uh, we actually have the, the batteries right there. Those will be staying right there. I don't know if I'll ever put the batteries in that arm. I, I don't know. Um, I know the hologram stuff would look really, really cool. But you guys know me. I don't really display them. Um, so I may, I may or may not. I don't know. But that's a, a moot point for right now as the get off me <laughs> weapons galore uh first and foremost we got the main blaster rifle right there iconic this is just i love this weapon this thing is i think this is the is this the dc 15 am i correct in that let me know in the comments if i'm correct or not but i really dig that weapon we also have that blaster right there. Great detail as always. Looks like we've got the... Okay, so that makes... That's weird. <laughs> it's almost like a fold in stock, but it doesn't really go back. I mean, you would think it... Wow, that makes no sense. But it's more or less... I don't know, but hey. There it is right there. Awesome blaster. Really, really cool detail. Um, the it's just amazing the amount of detail that actually comes on on these weapons, and that's another thing that I really love about Hot Toys and and things like that is the attention to detail. We do have a pair of blasters, uh, the pistols, right there. The iconic, which you guys have seen, I've made these out of EVA foam. So right there, we got the pair of blasters. Really excited for that. If there is something that I do not see, and that's going to bug me, but hey, I can get over it. Uh, also, looks like we got um, like a jet pack right there, or a backpack. Boom. Awesome amount of detail. I mean, it's just, it's weathered great, looks great. So one more time right there. Uh, also, we have a tray, and I want to talk about this tray because I saw something in the instructions. All right, so hang on a minute. Let me take, because I don't know yet if I will be taking those out and attaching them at this moment in time. But let me get the, uh, let me get the weapons out. I thought those were actually in a tray, but they're not. So get that out. We also have a head sculpt, which based on what the box looks like, I, I, I know it's gonna be awesome looking and it legitimately is right there. Check that head sculpt out. That is so cool looking. The hair, I mean, and, I'm, and you guys know me, I'm not a big fan of head sculpts, but that that actually looks really good so okay i'm i'm okay with it oh get the figure out let's get his let's get his base out and his stand and then i'll show you this one this one section let me go ahead and get my uh what did i do with him and i want because i want to talk about this i think I should have been. Honestly, I wasn't prepared for this because honestly, I didn't think this was a. I didn't think this was separate. So I'm a little, I'm a little unprepared. I'm looking for my tweezers. My little tweezers. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. There they are. I found them. Boom, tweezers. All right. Let me get that out. All right. So there's two pieces. I'm going to put them in that tray right there. Get the other one out right there. All right. So we got everything out of the box for now. So I can set the box out of the way right there. Boom. Let's go back to the instructions. According to the instructions, 
we have these two antennas actually attached to the figure. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the range finder, and right here, again, read the instructions. One goes right here, one goes on the actual helmet. <coughs> Excuse me. And I can already see that that is going to be an issue. I can see that these get broke easily. I mean, right there. I mean, I literally, that's metal. Okay. So that one actually is metal. So that's actually really cool. This one actually goes on his actual shoulder right here. And the other one, let's see if it's metal. Nope, it's plastic. So the one that goes on the helmet is, is plastic right there. So here's the dilemma. Um, does he need them? Technically, yes, he does need them. That, that is, that right there is, uh, that's going to be something that we're all going to have to be very, very careful of because I can, I can see those getting messed up very easily, very quickly if we're uh, not careful. So let me get this, let me get this cut off and we'll take a look at the face real quick and then we'll get actually get into the figure. All right, so the base itself, Commander Cody right there. We do have the preformed footprints. Um, I understand the freeform footprints um, because of this rippling effect on the base. By me pouring resin molds, I totally understand it because since the, the shoes and stuff are hard with this rippling right here, if you didn't have this, you would never get a flat foot pose so it's sort of a, a hit and miss however i'm noticing something and i think this is actually pretty cool you've got this footprint here but it looks like you got a toe indention right here so you could actually do a walking pose like this would be standing and this would you could put a leg back so that that's a nice little touch so i'm i'm okay with that um it is what it is, but if you're going to have contours and weathering, we got to have something semi-flat to put the feet in. So, right there, got the instructions. We got the little head bag. So let's start taking some of this stuff off. This is all to me. This is always the fun part, and that's why I want you guys to see me doing this because this is to me one of the fun things about getting a hot toy is actually removing a lot of the uh, the padding, the foam, little foam pieces. That just sort of makes it enjoyable, you know? It's like you unwrap it in the box, but then you, you get to unwrap it again. So we got two pieces on the knees, got an upper and a lower, just little, little squares of foam. A lot of people save, I, I personally save a lot of this stuff, but um, by all means, you don't have to. All right, so let's take a look at the figure itself right there. Boom. That is an awesome looking figure. I mean, that is legit. Uh, the paint, the weathering, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I'm really curious about the articulation on this figure. I do like the fact that He's got the outer garment, or the, excuse me, the inner garment that is similar to the uh, clone troopers that I have. So that should lean towards some decent uh, posability. No padded suits to worry about. But the shoulder armor, we do have elastic on that. So I'm curious on, on what we can get. That's... That's not bad, guys. 
that's that's not bad at all. I mean, considering the shoulder armor right here, uh, yeah, I can totally live with that. Ah, that's, that's nothing nothing wrong with that at all. Elbow wise, again, nothing wrong with that. That's legit. Nothing, nothing wrong with that at all. That's actually some really good articulation. I sort of skipped over his head, but hey, head rotates. Got some good down movement. He can look up great. Nothing wrong. Of course, we got great uh, side to side, so you can really do some expressions. I don't expect much of an ab crunch. Uh, I've never really had a hot toy that had a great ab crunch, so. <laughs> but we do have, we got a nice rotation at the waist. The armor does really good. So, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Let's check out the hips. Oh, I'm already, I'm already digging this figure. All right. So we do have the fabric right here. It stretches really, really tight. So you got to be careful right there. Uh, but that's about max that I've, I can see right now. If you do one leg at a time, you can get about the same, about the same effect. So again, he doesn't need to do splits. But uh, if that was a normal Stormtrooper undergarment, you wouldn't, I don't think you would get that much. So, so that's nice. Uh, knee bends. That's, that's good. That's a good knee bend right there. Nothing wrong with that. So this one, you should be able to get in some really good poses. I don't know if I'd be able to get him in my Mandalorian pose. You know, I don't think I, I don't think I could. Let me look here. Uh, maybe, maybe, I, I don't, I mean, it's, it's close, it's close, but overall, this is a, uh, it's a great looking figure, got a decent ankle, I mean, you can't really extend it more than that, um, extend it up really good, uh, side to side is great, so we should be able to get some Decent little poses that way. But yeah, this is this is cool. I dig it. I dig this a lot. I definitely want on the comments, did you pick up this figure if you collect hot toys? Uh it's amazing. It's a good, it's a good look. It's a good looking figure. I love the fact that. When you do battle damage and you do weathering, you do it 365. You, you have to do it 365. And that that helmet is just amazing looking. So, uh, yeah, right there. Boom. Commander Cody is in the house. Um, I dig it. I dig it a lot. So, I tell you what, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to pose him up and then I want to give you my final thoughts on if there's, if there's things I don't like, I want you guys to know my honest opinion on things that I don't like and things that I do like. So I'm going to see if I can get him posed up in a really cool pose and, uh, we'll be right back. All right. So, um, I had to, I had to do a side by side comparison with, uh, my Mandalorian figure and Commander uh, Cody. I could not get Commander C Cody in this particular pose. So there are limitations even with um, the, sm the softer and thinner undersuit, which yeah, that's okay. Uh, the Mandalorian figure had that big padded suit. So when you took it off, it really freed up because there is no undergarment. And the outer garment actually allows you to have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to that. So, but I wanted you to see the the differences. So, um, Mando, you go back over here for now. 
and we're going to talk a little bit more about Commander Cody right there. So as you can see, I do have him in a, a pretty good pose. Uh, I was actually able to get the, the, the rifle blaster up to his shoulder, which is really cool. That's actually a plus right there. Um, it, when you do this right here, you definitely want to go ahead and put the pistol or the, the grip hand on first and then put it on the arm. This particular arm here is the arm that is replaced with this arm right here. So that popped out pretty easy. Um, but this is a cool, neat little, uh, little feature. Again, I don't know if I'm going to ever use that. I mean, I may just for a photo and then more than likely take the batteries back out. And I, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever display it with that on. And truthfully, the holograms, they look great. But um, for the type of photos that I like to do, which are outside in the dirt and stuff like that, it's pretty much useless for me uh, but if you have it displayed in a detox or something like that then I think that'd be a really cool uh, thing to do uh, the instructions they're very good to tell you how to put the batteries in there's actually a compartment that you actually have to unscrew and it is literally on this arm here I personally I cannot see it obviously but uh yeah, it's there somewhere, but yeah, <laughs> I just, again, that's just my, my little pet peeve. Um, these little, these little antennas, um, that's another pet peeve of mine because I can legitimately see in the, see these get broke and I can also see them getting lost. So I, I, don't, I don't know how I truly feel about this yet. Um. Like I said, the one the one antenna is metal. I'm not too worried about that one. But the one that goes on the helmet is plastic. And if it ever falls over, I can definitely see that little thin little antenna busting off. So, again, I don't know if it's worth it to actually even put them on. I, I don't know yet. That's that's a that's a little bit of a a, a problem I have. The actual uh, backpack. Right here, it's magnet, which is great because the back without it looks good and the back with it looks good. So that gives you a couple of different options there. Um, so I dig that. That's neat. That's a very neat little uh, little feature. Uh, if you can use magnets, magnets are great. But the thing I like about this the most is the fact that even if you don't use it, you have a very detailed back plate. So you're not forced to use it, in other words. That's that's a nice touch. Uh, the head sculpt's great. Um, I've got no problems with the head sculpt. I think it's spot on. If Hot Toys and Sideshow ever, whoever, if you ever watch this video, please, please, please answer me this question. Because this is the this is my biggest complaint. You give me two blaster pistols, but I have nowhere to put them on the figure. There's no holsters. I mean, why? Why? This is a high-end collectible, right? And you have pistols. There needs to be holsters. Why? <laughs> I do not understand that. That makes no sense to me. That is my number one complaint right there. And again, Hot Toys, SciShow, I don't care. If y'all watch this video, comment, tell me why you give me pistols and nowhere to put them. That makes no sense to me. Because I'm telling you right now, you've got this awesome belt which is amazing. The detail is amazing. It's, it's gorgeous. If they was holsters right here, even put them on the leg, something. I mean, if you don't want it high up on the belt, fine. Then make a thigh holster, just something. 
I just, this to me looks silly. For, for a person, for a person or anything to be holding two blasters and have nowhere to put them makes, it looks silly to me. And I don't expect everybody to agree with me. It's just my thoughts and lo this is logical to me. If you have pistols, I mean, imagine right there if they was holsters and you could put these two pistols or these two blasters in those holsters, how much more dynamically this figure would look. It would look so much better to have those there. I mean, just just saying. I mean, yeah, you, you can have two blasters and do some really cool poses, but I want empty holsters because I've got the blaster pistol. So, yeah. I do have grievances. I do have grievances. And if you guys know me, just because it's a high-end figure, you know, 200 plus bucks, um, doesn't mean you get a free ride. I mean, I, I will tell you straight up the things I don't like. Um, I don't like the antennas. I, I think this is asking for trouble. I think this is, unless you do a museum pose and... You put it in a detox and you never plan on taking it out or doing anything with it. I think this is a mistake. Um, not having holsters for the blaster pistols is a mistake. Other than that, the figure's great. I'm super excited to have it in the collection. I cannot wait to figure out ways and do some uh, photos with it. I think it's going to be amazing uh, to have. But I just feel like those are two big misses when it comes to uh, hot tools. I think I think you dropped the ball, uh, especially on the uh, on the holsters. I think that's just my personal opinion though. But guys, I think that's gonna do it for this uh this unboxing video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think. Um, let me know your opinions on my thoughts, on my negatives. Uh, I'm really curious to uh, hear your thoughts. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know, number one, if you pick this up, number two, what you think about it, number three, give me your pros and cons. I'd love to hear those because I dig the figure and I'm so happy I've got it in my collection. Then I just have a couple of little issues, nothing major. Well, they are sort of major to me, but they might not be major to you. Having holsters might not, not be a big of a deal for you, but for me, it is, but posability is great, paint's great, the head sculpt is great. Um, other than that, a couple of little things with the uh, the antennas and the, and the blaster holsters, that's, that's my biggest complaints, but guys, that's going to do it. Also, remember, if this is your first time on my channel, please make sure and hit that subscribe button and make sure you got notifications turned on. That way, you'll know when I drop videos, and Always remember, toys refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.